My Bible story this morning is about a man who wasn't hurt or eaten or beaten by the lions. Who could this man be? Yes, Daniel and the lion's den. Have you seen a real lion? I saw two colors of real lions. One was light brown and the other one was white. They are so huge and have scary sharp teeth. Daniel was only a young man when he was made captive with his three best friends from Jerusalem to Babylon. They grew up eating nutritious foods like beans, fruits, wheat, barley, and clean water. They looked healthy, active, happy, best in the school, and ten times wiser than all the wise men in Babylon. Mind you, no junk foods, no meat foods, no preserved juices, and sleeping early, my fellow kids, are the best rules to follow, so we will be healthy and wise. The Babylon people prayed to idols, but Daniel and his friends were trained to pray to Jesus. King Darius noticed that Daniel has a special gift of wisdom from God and knows that the God of Daniel is wise and powerful. The two became close friends. Finally, he made Daniel a ruler of Babylon next to him. But a big problem came when friends of the king knew that Daniel was made ruler next to the king. They were jealous and angry at Daniel. They gathered together and were thinking of a plan how to destroy Daniel. But how? He was never late to work. He does not cheat and lie. But one friend said, Hey, I have one idea and I think this will work. Haven't you noticed that Daniel opened his window towards Jerusalem three times a day and prays to his God in heaven and not to our idols? We will tell the king to approve a law that anyone who prays to any god except the king for 30 days shall be thrown into the lion's den. The king would be happy that all the people would only bow down to him. I know he will agree to this law. And they all laughed. <laughs> the next day, they went to the king and yes, they were not mistaken. The king was well pleased and sealed the law. Oh my, if the king seals a law, it couldn't be changed. And so a messenger was sent to places of the kingdom to read the new law. Big men, children, and Daniel listened to the strange new law. But just the same, Daniel walked back to his home and the bad guys followed him to observe if he will stop or continue praying. And lo and behold, Daniel's window opened wide. There they saw the same habit of Daniel kneeling in prayer towards Jerusalem and prayed to his God. And they ran to the palace and told the king what they saw. And when the king heard the story, he was very, very sad and very, very sorry that he sealed the law and very, very sorry for his friend Daniel. Immediately, the guards brought Daniel to the lion's den area and the lions began to roar, growl, and the ground trembled. The guards threw him down and down, down, down. Daniel dropped. But wait, they can hear growling and roaring. The den was so quiet. It was so quiet. But the bad man did not mind. They were happy. At last, Daniel will be dead. Was that the end of the story? Oh no, back to the palace, the king wept. He couldn't sleep at all. He did not like to eat and listen to music. He was listening toward the window if the lions are noisy. But that night, he couldn't hear any sound from the lions then. His mind was wishing that Daniel's God will save him from the lions. And so, as soon as the sun shone the next morning, he asked his guards to bring him to the lion's den area and anxiously called out, Daniel, is thy God whom you worship and pray to save you from the lions? Was there an answer? Yes, O king, live 
forever. My God, the sun is angel, and I shut the lion's mouths, and they haven't hurt me. What a happy moment it was! The king ordered that Daniel be taken out, and yes, they saw that not a scratch on his body can be found. The king was so happy, and has proven that Daniel's God was real and powerful. My fellow kids, Daniel grew as a good boy, prayerful and trusting Jesus. God loves him, and God loves us too. If we feel afraid and feel alone, remember God will send his angels to be with us. I will leave a very short song in a Bible text that says, The angel of the Lord encompass round about them, that fear him and delivereth them. Psalm 34, 7 Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose for 